Hello, fellow space travelers. Welcome back to Keanu's Pikmin 2 Let's Plays. In the last episode, we... We, uh... We found the last tre piece of treasure at the perplexing pool, that being a massage girdle, which is actually a bolt. And apparently there's one more piece of treasure and one more cave we have it... We, f we need to find in the Awakening Wood. Okay, we need the blues for this. Get away! Stupid sheer grubs. Hate these things. <gasps> oh, great. A Wally Hop. A yellow Wally Hop. There we go. Okay. Now we just build the rest of this bridge if the shoe grubs destroyed it. Also, uh, I think you might have guys might have heard the news. Uh, any Disney World news? Apparently, they're gonna build a Monsters Inc. Land, a Monsters Inc. Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But they're still planning on where. People are worried that it's gonna, it's gonna destroy Muppet Vision 3D, which I'm actually worried too. So there's actually two places two options they could build uh, the Monsters, Inc. land. Those being the Animation Courtyard, which used to have their Florida Animation Studio, which is no longer there, and the one that people hope they don't, they don't demolish, that being Muppet Vision 3D and Muppet, Set, Muppet Courtyard. I think that's what it's called. And Pizza Rizzo, which is a quick-service pizza restaurant. Let's just hope they don't choose the latter, because then the the fans are gonna riot. And I bet. Perfect. We have enough pick. We have enough blues to. Oh, oh, oh I forgot. We have to take out that Wally, that other Wally Hop first. Okay. There's another Wally Hop right here, right by that scale. There's the piece of treasure we need to find. Whoa, Wally Hop! Also, these things don't have mouths. I wonder how these things eat, and what do these things eat? Okay, Mr. President, you stay with the blues. I'll go get the white Pikmin. I'll get the white Pikmin. And... White Pikmin, please. We need 29 white Pikmin. Because that, 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 those kids, that... That, uh, that, that kindling that's, that, 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 that we need to build that bridge is guarded by, uh, has lots of poisons, poison fume things. I'm not sure what those things are called. Okay.
Okay. Now we'll put the white Pikmin back. Thanks for the help, white Pikmin. Wow, these guys are really fast. Put these guys back in. Okay. Now we can build the rest of that bridge with the blues. Actually, I move these out of the way. Okay, seventeen. Okay, we got it. Oh, it's a badminton birdie. You know those little things that you play badminton with? Yeah, that's the thing we're, that they're going to bring back to the ship. That's the last piece of treasure that there that's above ground. The rest are in this ca this cave that's behind that barrier over there. Okay. Wow, burly snagret! Why do they even classify this guy as a boss? He's not really a boss. He's more of a mini boss. There we go. Haha. -ha. We'll find lots of burrowy snaggrits in this cave that's behind this barrier. Intriguing. My acoustic sensors are picking up a high pitched whale. It seems to emanate from the er area near this gigantic stump. This large root must penetrate deep beneath this, the planet's surface. Fasc fascinating. This could possibly take a while. A hundred Pocos. Name? Airbreak. AKA a badminton birdie. One of those things that you play badminton with. Okay, that's all the treasure above ground and here in the Awakening Wood. Now all that's left is to find the treasure in the, uh, the cave that's behind uh, that barrier. Yeah, that's the, that's the cave I'm talking about. So it's called the Snagrit Hole. So, it, so there's no fire hazard, so it only has water, electricity, and poison hazards. So we'll need the yellow, blue, and, and white Pikmin. We'll put some of the blues back. 30 blues. Thirty yellows and thirty whites. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna go into the Snagrit hole. Okay. Okay, we're going down. Aliyah? Woohoo! Snagger hole, sub level one. Hmm. Sheer grubs. Petrified it with the ultra bitter spray. <gasps> Woo! Okay. It's another marble. 120 Pocos. Name? Crystallized Telekinesis. Oh. I think this is a birdhouse we're in. Yeah, the white Pikmin will take that back to the to the the research pod really fast. Okay, the the president and the rest of the Pikmin will wait by the exit hole. There we go. Up we go. Ten Pocos. Name? Leviathan Feather. And to the well, looks of it, it looks like the feather from a chicken. Okay. We're going down deeper. Geronimo! Snagger hole, sub level two. Wait, light out? I thought we were underground. Oh! Oh crap, a tree a creeping chrysanthemum. Got him before he could swallow the swallow the Pikmin. Oh crap, a cloaking bronit! Attack its face! Push over. There's another creepy chrysanthemum. Oh man. Restart from the last save point. Okay. Yeah. 
Snagger hole, sub level two. Ha! Right before it could take off. Oh well, it's just the red, the reds and it's just the blues and yellows. No big deal. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about the burps. It's I'm kind of gassy today. Oh, clovers. Haha. -ha. Oh, a sushi roll. Anybody like sushi? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. My favorite type of sushi roll is tempura yam. It's got, uh, it's got, it's got sweet potato, tempura, and it's got, and it's also got, and it's, and it's got a little bit of avocado. It's an inside out roll. It has, it has seaweed on the inside rather than the outside. Ooh, it's another strawberry. 190 Pocos. Name? Combustion Berry. AKA a rather plump looking strawberry. Okay, here they come with that sushi that, that sushi roll. It actually does sound good right now. Sushi. Forty Pocos. Name? Taste sensation. Yum. Okay, the exit hole's gotta be somewhere over here. Somewhere right there. It's right there. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, let's go deeper. Are you? Snagger hole, sub level three. Ah, scoopy snitch bugs. Oh my gosh, a burrowing snagger! Yeah, the reason why they call this the snagger hole is because there's lots of burrowing snaggerets in this in this cave. Ha! Push over. Let's 
this? Oh, it's a cocktail weenie. You know, it's one of those little be those little miniature sausages. It's a cocktail weenie or whatever this is. Forty pocos. Name: Meat Satchel. Okay, that's all the treasure in this sublevel. Might as well increase the purple picks, get some purple Pikmin out of these Pikmin. Oh, another Brewing Staggrit! And for Ted! <clears throat> ha! <clears throat> Piece of cake. Throw in some blue Pikmin. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we got some purple Pikmin. Sluggish as usual. There's a yellow Pikmin that was a uh, flower bud. Okay, take down that wall. <coughs> <coughs> also, apparently the, the president's favorite Pikmin isn't the blue Pikmin. It's actually the purple Pikmin. Snagret hole, sub level four. Okay. Oh no, a watery blow hog. We need the blues to take out this guy. Is there a need to water attacks? Turn around. Turn around. Whoa! That that armor candy beetle larva just came out of nowhere. Okay, you guys wait here. <coughs> you guys wait here. <coughs> <clears throat> hey, 
I'm a candy beetle larva. Over here. treasure. Oh, it's a magnet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> oh, a cherry! <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. It's a cherry. <clears throat> All clear. Need to take it back to the sh to the research pod. <clears throat> All right. Hundred fifty pocos. Name: Heavy Duty Magnetizer, aka a magnet. <clears throat> A hundred twenty pocos. Name crystallized telepathy. <coughs> 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 AKA another marble. Twenty Pocos. Name? Cupid's Grenade. Alright. That's all the treasure in this sublevel. Now let's go on to number five. Okay, number five. Okay. Snagger hole, sub level five. Wait, what the? What's going on with the treasure gauge? It's going ape shit! The treasure gauge is going ape shit! I mean, look at it! It's going crazy! It's going crazy. See? No, wait. Aha! That's what's causing the... That's what's causing the treasure gauge to go crazy. That thing right there, that little beetle. It's an antenna beetle. Or antenna bug, or whatever it's called. Oh, we got another piece of treasure. Okay, let's take up that antenna beetle. Also, apparently that that field, apparently the Pikmin don't like the sound of the antenna beetle. Where'd it go? There Oh, oh it's another it's another marble. 120 pocos. Again. Name? Crystallized clairvoyance.
Yeah, the antenna beetles are pretty annoying. They make your tr treasure, they make the treasure gauge go crazy. Come here, you! Oh man, I lost one. There we go. Oh, it's a whistle. Okay, the treasure gauge is back to normal. Ultra bitter spray. Ha ha. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Seventy five Pocos. Name Emperor Whistle, aka well, a whistle. Okay. Okay, now let's go on to number six. This way. Are you? Going down. Snaggert Hole, sub level six. Oh, it's a queen candy pop bud. Oh, great. There's probably an antenna. It's a there's an antenna beetle nearby. All right. Whoa! There's water. There's water. Oh god, the treasure meter's going crazy! And not by crazy, I mean like, it's, since it's treasure, I mean it's going crazy like... Oh great, it's an antenna be it's another antenna beetle.
Oh crap, a Bruin Snaggerit! Two of them! There's two of them! We need the other Pikmin stacked! What's this? 120 Pocos. Name? Suspend stupendous lenses. I better reset, restart the the cave. I'm gonna restart the cave. <clears throat> Come on, hurry up! Snagger hole, sub level six. Again. There we go. Okay, oh. Okay, we'll have to increase the blue Pikmin population. Time it just right. Okay. <clears throat> oh. oh, damn it. 
He drowned. I'm gonna have to start again. Start over again. Sorry if I keep starting over again. It's just I don't want to lose my purple Pikmin. If, if one purple Pikmin or white Pikmin gets gets eaten or killed, then I have to reset from the last save point. Okay, I'm gonna use the blues for this. Come here, you! Got him! Okay, now let's take care of those fume things. Oh no, another one! Tinker's head! <sighs> Aim for the head! That's its weak spot! Is this a kebab? What's this thing? Some sort of kebab or something? I'm not sure what it is. 60 Pocos. Name? Triple Sugar... Tr tr triple Sugar Threat. Okay. 120 Pocos. Name? Suspendus Stupendous Lens. Now we just gotta take care of that antenna beetle. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Poison. Uh, 
Nintendo Beetle keeps making it go crazy, making the... Oh wait, there's another thing. white Pikmin. Oh! It's a lid to a yogurt cup. Morning fruit yogurt. Blueberry. Low fat. Mm, that extra sense. Hey, wait, come here, come here! Oh, great. The antenna beetle attracted them. Yeah. 20 Pocos. Name? Science Project. <laughs> it's a four leaf clover. Antenna beetle. Okay. Also in the in the GameCube and Wii versions, that fruit that fruit cup that fruit and yogurt cup lid that was originally that was originally uh, the Dannon brand fruit yogurt cup thing, whatever it is. Some more blue, pic some more white Pikmin. Up we go. Thirty Pocos. Name: Saliva Tricks. Morning yo fruit yogurt. Blueberry. Low fat. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go down to the bottom. Okay. Let's go deeper. Are you? Geronimo! Snagger hole, sub level seven. Oh, it's the final sub level. Final floor. Yeah, this will be the geyser. Oh yeah, this is the boss of the of this hole. This is the pileated snagret. Unlike the burrowing snagret, you can actually see this thing's top. You can actually see. Apparently, it goes on one leg. Okay. 
Okay, wait for it to come back up. There it is! Attack its head! Yeah, apparently the, the Snagger family has only one leg. will trouble you no more. Processing. How curious. What's that impressive mechanized masterpiece? A drop of ultra bitter spray. I think that's Gundam or something. A hundred Pocos. Name? Justice Alloy. Bzz. Does not compute. Does not compute. A metal this dense def defies the fundamental laws of physics. And yet, if I use this to rework our president's treasured spacesuit... Processing. Complete! Fabrication of the Metal Suit Z is now concluded. This suit is extremely durable. Getting gnawed or stepped on will now produce minimal pain. Yeah, this pretty much increases the, the ship's armor. I mean, this, this, this increases the armor of the... of Olimar and the President. Found all the treasure in the caves and above ground on, of the Valley of Repose, the Awakening Wood, and the Perplexing Pool. Now all that's left is the Wistful Wild. Oh! Wow, the music sounds so heroic and triumphant. Okay, today's report, 1,317 Pocos. Oh, it's Olimar's son. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my allowance doubled. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my allowance doubled. And it's all thanks to you, to my papa. After all, he's a he's a great captain. But when in the world, but when in the world will we be able to come? But when in the world will be he, he be able to come home, huh? That's actually a good question. Wait, does all of our son and daughter even have a name? Okay. I might as well show you guys the Wistful Wild. Even though it's way past. It's pretty late. Welcome to the Wistful Wild. This is the final area of Pikmin 2. Yeah, and if you, if you can tell, it takes place during the fall. So you guys might be wondering where this this piece of treasure that you need a thousand Pikmin in order to um, in order to move it. Where this piece of treasure is that requires a thousand Pikmin. Well, it's right over here. Yes, it's this thing. See? It requires a thousand Pikmin. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, this thing it requires a, a thousand Pikmin, but you'll need a hundred. But since the pick the purple Pikmin can lift things, lift things as as much as ten Pikmin, as ten regular Pikmin, you'll need a hundred reg. You'll need a hundred regular pick. You'll need a hundred purple Pikmin in order to lift this thing. This could take a while. Since the purple Pikmin are so slow, because you know, they're fat, and and this thing is pretty heavy, this could take like a few minutes or so. This is the head so this is the actually the heaviest item in Pikmin 2. Take a little nappy. Gonna have them take a little nappy while they while the purple Pikmin bring that back to the ship. So this is why I've been saving up all those purple Pikmin in the past few episodes. It's for this piece of treasure alone. Also, this is the area where we'll, where we'll find Louie. Almost there, almost there, almost there, and up it goes. Whoa, 3,000 Pocos. That's a lot. Name, Doomsday Apparatus. Yeah, all that weight is worth 3,000 Pocos. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you. So let's end the day, and we'll continue the rest of the journey in the Awakening in the Wistful Wild tomorrow. Today's report. We managed to find 3,000 Pocos from the Doomsday Apparatus, which is the heaviest item in Pikmin 2. What's this? Spam? Don't we all want friends? Who will smile when we need a little sunshine in your in our day? Sure, if you see friends who need who need a smile, give them your best one. Ah, it's probably a spam email or something like that. So I'm gonna stop right here, and in the next episode, we're gonna explore more of the Wistful Wild and probably explore one of the caves. So thank you guys for watching this episode of my Pikmin 2 Let's Plays. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, share on social media, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!